Hello everyone, this video is going to be a short tutorial on how to set up the Fast Cam Mini high speed camera. Uh, it's going to be in two parts, so we're going to have one sort of live view steady cam uh, setup part, and then one's going to be a screen capture part where we show how to show how to, how to use the software and set up the software. So what we're going to look at today is we have a spark generator and we're just going to try to image uh, that a little bit. So the first thing is we have the camera set up. We have the power input here. And so this just slides uh, straight in and out. There's no, you don't have to unscrew uh, this or, or do anything else. It just comes straight out. You have a trigger in here in this bottom left uh, screw in port. So that goes to uh, an input trigger, thumb trigger here. And then the data connection goes from the back of the camera over to the back of the laptop. And we're going to talk about you have to turn the firewalls off on the laptop to get uh, the camera to be recognized by the computer. So uh, typically with uh, a spark that small I would use a macro lens and have the lens closer but I wanted to be able to show a manual zoom lens. This is also a manual focus camera so we will use our focus ring. There isn't an autofocus on here. The aperture adjustment is this dial is this dial, dial here so you can change the aperture if that's applicable to the lens that you are using. Now to remove the lens we will push this button, this uh, short tab here and rotate the lens to uh, towards, towards me. So I'll rotate it here and it will come off. Now you'll notice there's a white sort of dash and a red dot. Uh, a white dash here on the lens and a red dot on the camera and those two line up that's when the lens is ready to attach so this is a Nikon mount so typical Nikon lenses this is a is a Tamron lens but other Nikon Nikons will will work fine okay so uh, now I'm going to start a screen capture video because uh, the screen doesn't show up well on this camera. 